Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 8th PSD to Responsive website tutorial and in this video we're going to style up the footer. Wow. Oh, hi then guys, so this is where we are up to so far. It's looking pretty swank here. We've got all our header stuff sorted and the main content, so now we just need to style up this stuff in the footer down below. Before we do anything, let's just take a quick look at the PSD to see what we need to do. So it's got this dark grey background. I'm not going to do this texture it's got at the back. Um, just to save time, it's got a little bit of a border at the top, and then each of these is 25 pixels, uh, sorry, about 25% in width, and it's got this little copyright message at the bottom. So, let's jump back into the code and start making some styles. So the first thing I want to do is just grab the footer itself. So, footer, and then what I'm going to do is give this a deep charcoal grey background. So, background 2020, 20, 20, something like that. Oops, 2020, 20, 20. cool, that will do. Okay, then I wanna give it some padding. I'm gonna say 30 pixels top and bottom, zero left and right. Then the border top, remember, was about, I don't know, 10 pixels in thickness, and it was like an even darker charcoal gray. So we'll say border top, 10 pixels, solid, and then we'll say about 15, 15, 15, something like that, that will do. All right, then, so now let's style up these things down here. First of all, let's style up the H4s. So we'll go to footer H4. And then what I'll do is say margin zero, and then color, oops, color 555. Five, five. And then I'll say text transform uppercase like that and then finally about a font size of 18 pixels just a little bit bigger that will do all right so now let's target the ul's in the footer we'll say footer ul like that and we're going to flow each one to the left and that's collapsed the footer height remember we'll do that trick in a minute to clear those floats and um, but for now we'll say width is going to be 25 percent so exactly a quarter and then what I'm going to do is say list style type none. All right. So now let's clear the floats. And to do that, what I'm going to say is footer after. Footer after. And then it's going to be content empty display block. And then clear both. Remember, this is the technique I showed you in an earlier tutorial. Okay. And then what I want to do is target these LIs right here. So, footer, LI, like that. And then the color is going to be about AAA, make it a little bit lighter. Then the width is going to be 80%. And then what I'll do is say margin 20 pixels and zero left and right. Then font size is going to be 14 pixels, line height 1.6 m's. All right, so that just spaces it out a little bit. I give it a width of 80% so it doesn't go to the end of the UL, so then it spaces it out from the next one, okay? So let's do now the Twitter little icons. If we take a look at the PSD, you notice these little Twitter icons next to these LI tags. So let's sort that out. What we need to do is say footer, li.tw, which stands for tweet, remember, I gave them those classes in the HTML. And then we'll say padding left is going to be about 20 pixels, like that. And then the background is going to be a URL, and it's going to be in the images folder, forward slash tweet is what we saved it as, .png. Um, we want it no repeat, so it doesn't look like that hideous mess of birds, like that. And then we'll say to the left and six pixels from the top, and that looks about right to me. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, we don't need to do anything else for those tweets. Now then, let's do this little copyright bit at the bottom. So it's got an idea of copyright, the surrounding div. And then what we'll do within here is say clear both to bring it down to the bottom. And then we're gonna give it a padding top <clears throat> of about 30 pixels. And then we're gonna give it a margin top as well margin top of 30 pixels and notice that did absolutely nothing 
okay? And that's because of these floats right here. So what we need to do is float this as well so we remain in that kind of float flow and then we can have that margin because these are not properly cleared. Alternatively, what we could do is pop an empty div in between the last one of these and this and then have that clear the float. But what we're gonna do is just float this to the left instead and now we get that margin, okay? But what we do need to do then is give it a width of 100% like that okay so now we can give it that border top which is two pixels roughly solid and we'll say three 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 and then let's take a look at that <clears throat> now we can see that border right there um, we'll also change the color of this to about 999 that will do uh, font size a little bit smaller I think 14 pixels should do it and I think, guys, that should be just about it. So let's take a look now at this website. There we go, that's the footer done. Um, all the content done and the header and whatnot done. So I did say at the start of this playlist, guys, that things were not gonna be pixel perfect, and they're not. Okay, this text might be a little bit different. This might be spaced out a little bit different. There might be more padding and margin. But the whole idea of this playlist is to show you how we can take a PSD and do a quick responsive prototype. Then we can do all the little nitty bits later or if you want to kind of um, do those yourself you can if I was working for a client here I'd be a little bit more careful I'd supply all the padding and margin as the designer wanted it okay but this is just to teach you how to make a responsive kind of mock-up or prototype so that's it for the desktop stars now what I've done that in about I don't know 40 minutes something like that so it doesn't take too long and then what we're going to do over the next couple of lessons is start making some responsive design so it looks good on tablets and on mobile because at the minute if we inspect an element just so we can change the viewport size if we zoom this over to the left yeah it looks all right for a while but then after a little bit you can see here this just looks really squashed and if i was viewing this on a tablet i don't think it would be a great experience uh, experience these don't look very good at the top again very squashed and when we get to mobile i mean that's just ridiculous i would not visit this website again if i saw that on mobile so there we go well, that's what we're going to do in the next couple of lessons. First, we'll do tablet and then mobile. If you have any questions so far, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the very next video.